What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. And welcome to another installment in my 100 Movies Bucket List series. And today, I'm taking a look at the 2001 romance film, Amelie. <laughs> So Amelie was released in 2001, it is a French film, it is a pretty acclaimed French film, the movie was nominated for five Academy Awards including Best Original Screenplay. Uh, the movie was directed by somebody, I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce his name right, it says here the director is Jean-Pierre Junet, forgive me if I pronounce your name wrong. And Jean-Pierre Junet, a very interesting case because the other movie that he is best known for directing is Alien Resurrection? So he directed Amelie, a movie that a lot of people love, and he also directed arguably the worst Alien film. How does that happen? So anyway, is Amelie a good movie? Is it better than Alien Resurrection at least? Let's find out together. So in Amelie, a painfully shy actress working at a tiny Paris cafe, Amelie makes a surprising discovery and sees her life drastically change for the better. From then on, Amelie dedicates herself to helping others find happiness in the most delightfully unexpected ways. But will she have the courage to do for herself what she has done for others? Amelie is definitely an interesting case. And if we're going with this director's of the two movies that I've seen, Jean-Pierre, this movie is a heck of a lot better than Alien Resurrection. Alien Resurrection is trash. I don't recommend that film at all. It, disgraces the Alien franchise in my opinion. Amelie I think shows the director's I guess better talents as a director. It's a movie that even though I'm not I'm, I'm gonna say it off the bat I'm not a crazy big fan of this movie. I will say it shows that he's capable enough of directing a film. The movie definitely is well shot. I was intrigued at first by the overall story. I was intrigued by the Amelie character as somebody who was a shy, introverted girl, misunderstood by her parents, and she's kind of shut herself off from the rest of the world. She does help others, but she doesn't know anything about falling in love or having any real social encounters with everybody. And her story starts out pretty intriguing at first. I thought it was really charming. It is very gleefully optimistic. And movies like this are usually my go-to comfort movies. I enjoy seeing movies that tend to, you know, be feel-good movies that tend to uplift the soul. I enjoy movies like that. And it's the type of movies that I think more people should watch during, you know, the weirdness of 2020. But yeah, the movie, that, for some reason it didn't click with me, even though the movie, I feel like the movie should have clicked with me, considering I've become more accustomed and have become more attracted to a lot of these romance films, like the Before Trilogy I watched recently. I loved that entire trilogy. But for some reason, Amelie just didn't click with me. And I think a part of it is because... The movie crams so much characters into one movie. A lot of the supporting characters I feel like overshadow Amelie's story. I don't know why he decided to have so many characters struggle to find romance throughout this two hour film. I, mean, I feel like those sequences took away from Amelie's character arc to where I found the film pretty distracting and very uneven. The movie also makes some weird tonal decisions throughout the film because Amelie is so introverted. She, she definitely has this like bizarre imagination and we see like these metaphorical sequences of things going on that aren't actually happening in real life. It's kind of blurring the line between fantasy and reality. 
some of the scenes do feel a little pretentious at times and it doesn't really add anything to the overall narrative. I was just watching the film and I was like, huh? I don't really get what's going on. And then my other issue with Amelie is the fact that the movie I don't think warrants its R rating. I've said this in other reviews, but if you want to go R, you need to earn it. And the only reason Amelie got an R rating is just because of some sexual imagery. And there are some sexual references and there's some nude imagery in the film as well. And... It just felt like a cheap way to get an R rating just so the Academy Awards could pay more attention to it because in more recent years the Oscars tend to take rated R films more seriously than any other movies and it was a little off-putting because if you had cut some of that imagery out of the film the rest of the storyline it would have been a light PG-13. It didn't make sense to me why some of that imagery was placed in there just to cheapen the direction of the movie and just easily slap that R rating. That Those tend to annoy me. I had that same issue with Lost in Translation, another movie I watched a while ago, and it's the same thing with this movie. I don't think this movie should have been rated R, but that's just me. All in all, Amelie is a film that I really wanted to love. But it's a movie that just didn't emotionally click with me. It does have its moments. Some of the choices Amelie makes in the film and what she does for others is very uplifting. And there's some aspects to her character I do find pretty relatable. But at the end of the day, I just wasn't hooked by this film. I just thought the movie just kind of went off in too many wild directions. I do think the direction can get a little pretentious at times. And the movie didn't emotionally grab me like it thinks it's doing and at the end of the day there was aspects of this film that really bored me there's other aspects I enjoyed but at the end of the day it's a movie that just didn't really do it for me I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of hate from some film fans for not liking Amelie because this is a critically acclaimed film but you know I've got to be honest when I review these movies I just didn't really care for this movie I don't know if it deserves a spot on the 100 movies bucket list or not but for those who do enjoy this film and thinks it does more power to you at the end of the day i'm gonna give amelie a two and a half out of five stars and on the 100 point scale it's getting a 44 out of 100. so that wraps up my review of amelie as part of my 100 movies bucket list series it's where I review different movies that are on that poster I showed at the beginning of the video. It's a wide variety of cinema represented on the 100 Movies Bucket List poster. Some of these movies are rewatches. Some of these, like Amelie, are first time viewings. And if you're a fan of cinema and want to see this journey of what's on the 100 Movies Bucket List, I'll leave a link in the description below of all the reviews I've done in this series so far. There's a wide variety of cinema represented, so if you're a fan of cinema, Check the link in the description below to see more. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future reviews in this series. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you've seen Amelie, let me know down in the comments below. Would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope y'all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!